But over the years, we tried to get him scientific, masyadong the numero, and it didn't work, sabi ko. Balik natin yung Filipino style of basketball. Para, para basketball. It was a huge risk. Hindi pa rin nakita yung balitong style sa buong Asia. But sabi ko, for us to succeed, two things were important. Number one, we had to be the best team possible. And number two, we had to execute. Teamwork and execution. Yan po ang nasa pag-uusapan ko for the rest of this talk for the next half an hour or so. Teamwork and execution. Sa trabaho na dito sa AIM Global, as a distributor, as a leader, business owner, how important is teamwork and execution? Everything that they talked to you about earlier, usually critical, very, very important. It's about how to be best, to be the best you can be. But now it's time to think about, to be able to break barriers, to be able to effect real change, we have to be able to transform that individual greatness and that individual leadership to team greatness, from me to we. That is the story of Minas. So, pinag-isipan ko, sabi ko, wala tayong magdagawa sa kahit ng kalaban. Wala naman tayong mga 7 footer ng China, ng Mira, di ba? Tayo mga Pilipino, tayo pinakamute sa Asia, di ba? Hindi wala na tayong magdagawa dyan. Pero yung teamwork natin, our working together habits, our collaboration, our cooperation, that is completely within our hands. So, kung nakikinig niyo yung tabi mo, sabihin mo, team tayo. Team tayo. Kung nakikinig niyo sabihin mo, team tayo. Sa trabaho ninyo, as a, as a leader, as a business owner, how important is it to have a great team? And to do that, I'm going to share with you our GILAS team model. Sa pagpapractice namin, sa ensayo namin, we created our own team model. The GILAS team model. It is built on trust, effort, accountability, motivation. I like working with models because madaling ituro. So mamayang gabi, pag-uwi niyo, may makausap kayo bukas, magkwentuhan kayo, may training kayo, sasabihin niyo, napakadali ko yung ibig sa para sabihin ng team. Ni Coach John Reyes, hindi na sa team pala ay trust, effort, accountability, motivation. So eto na, pinili ko na yung team ko. Nag-insayo kami, nabigyan kami ng isang pang practice. August 2013 comes around. The Asian Championship start. Dito mismo, sa Mall of Asia Arena, this was the historic venue. To qualify for the World Championships, we had to finish in the top three in Asia. And like I said, since 1974, hindi pa nangyari yan. Pero, we were very confident because we had put together a really good team. So I said, laban tayo dito, let's see what happens. The tournament starts, we win our first two games, we lost the third game, pasok tayo sa second round, sweet natin yung second round, that was the quarterfinals, we won our quarterfinal match, pasok tayo sa semifinals. Eto na, final four, apat na team na lang nakikira. We are one win away from our team. Bakit? Pag nanalo tayo sa semifinals, Sigurado pa sa tayo sa finals. Minimum second place, sure ticket to the World Championships in Spain. Meron lang isang problema. Waiting for us in the semifinals, kagaabang sa atin, yung ating kontra pero, South Korea. Eh, Korea na dito sa atin. So, hindi ko maintindihan, nung dumating yata yung ating mga kaibigan from Korea 20-25 years ago, hinalo sila sa tubig natin. Because for the life of me, as a Philippines versus Korea, sigurado talo ang Pilipinas. Pero sabi ko, ito paghahandaan namin. So ito ang aking insight number one when facing competition. Dear leaders, when you build your teams, who are you building your teams for? I built our team for Korea. I didn't build our team for the powerhouses like Iran or China. I built our team for Korea because I knew to get to the top three, we had to get by Korea. So, nung nag-umpisa itong game na to, 
Very comfortable. Kaya-kaya yung kalaban. Kasi alam na alam namin ang gagawin ng Korea. Mas kaya tawag nila sa play nila. Come show me ka. Ano sa inyo? Yung mga salita nila. Alam na alam namin yung play nila. Wala silang makuha. Kapag tayo 8 points, 9 points, 10 points. Very easy game. Sabi ko kaya-kaya natin ko. Until disaster number one strikes. Alam nyo naman, even in the best laid plans of mice and men, something can always come up. And that something was early sa second quarter. Yung kaisa-isa natin magaling na matangkad, si Marcus Laudit. Yung ating naturalized player, 6 foot 10, early in the second quarter, goes down with an injury, leaves the ball game, never comes back. 2013 po ito, rookie year ni Jude Marfajardo. Hindi pa siya naglalaro nun masyado. Sa team natin na pinakamaliit sa Asia, na wala pa yung kaisa-isa natin magaling na big man. For all intents and purposes, our team should and shouldn't be competitive anymore. But our players, they do not know the meaning of quit. They keep fighting until we get to the final three minutes of this ball game. And at this point, I invite you into my world. I'd like to invite you into the world of basketball coaches. And what we do as coaches is we break down a video. Nakikita niyo ba yung video sa likod sa taas? Yes? So here we are. Last three minutes of the ball game. We are only two points down. We are right in the thick of this match. Laban, maganda ng sitwasyon natin. Two points down lang tayo. Naglalaro pa tayo dito mismo sa MOA. Pulong-pulong yung Mall of Asia Arena. Sabi ko, we're in a great position to win this game. Except, disaster number two strikes. Kailangan niya ang sila. Jason Castro. Simply, our best player in this game. At this point, he already had 18 points. So, hindi siya masap ng Korea. Mas yan ang gawin nila. So, anong ginawa ng kalaban? Ayun, binigyan ng konti. Baliya, ito sa bibig, wak-wak yung buong labi niya, his lower lip, completely split open. Hindi natin makita masyado yung walya, it's stretched to this blood. So think about this for a minute. In the biggest game of our lives, we have lost our two best players. We've lost Marcos Dow in our best big man, and now we've lost Jason Castro, our best scorer. Think about your own business teams. Your own organizations here within A Global, dear leaders. You're about to complete a huge project. You're about to finish an important endeavor. What if in the home stretch you lose your two best people? Paano po pag nawala sa inyo ang dalawang pinaka-importante tao ninyo sa inyong organization? Do you have that team around them to still get the job done? That's the question facing our national team. In the biggest game of our lives, we've lost our two best players. Do we have the team around them to still get the job done? That's the question we will answer in this next three minutes. We need some shooters now on the floor. Just over three minutes remaining. Talawala ka, kailangan na na. Abulin dito ng gilas. Jimmy, stop on his tracks. Game over by Colabag. Sinabi ko po, para tayo manalo, kailangan teamwork and execution. Instead of talking to you about execution, I will show you execution. Para nyo maintindihan, kailangan explain ko ang aming game plan, offensive game plan. Wala po kami mga play 1, play 2, play 56.7 para mga ibang team. Para para basketball tayo, wala kami play play. Meron lang tayong offensive rules. On offense, our offensive rule, do not attack Korea's best defender. Ito po ang pinakamagaling magbantay. That's Korea's best defender number 6. Ito po ang kanilang pinakamagaling magbantay. Ito talaga, pag nag-defend sa to, eh da ikaw ay asawa ko eh. Wala kang alusot-lusot. And relate pa tayo mga boys. So, Korea's best defender, binabad na yan si Larry Bonacher, our best three-point shooter. That means we're not going to attack here. That means somebody else will make a play, just like this. Bakers pleading for that leather. Jimmy launches it. I said the starting point, the fun foundation of all great teamwork is trust. Dear friends, it is as well the foundation and the starting point of all great leadership. 
Dear leaders in the audience, job number one, forge strong trust-based relationships with your people. Because when you do that, you model the value of them forging strong trust-based relationships with each other. And more importantly, you model the value of them forging strong trust-based relationships with the clients, with the public on whom you rely to get most of your work done. In your line of work, Tito's aim global, how important is it to forge those strong trust-based relationships? And I'm sure you're very familiar with the financial metrics of your business. You all know your marketing plans, you all know your commission schemes, ROI, return on investment, return on equity, alam nyo lahat yan. Trust delivers a different return. I call it the ROR. When, the, when leaders invest a little bit of time and effort for these strong trust-based relationships with their people, and when the team members, like you here in the audience, invest a little bit of time and effort for these strong trust-based relationships with each other, the ROR, the return on that relationship, is priceless. It is the difference between being a good team, simply a good team, and being a great team. And when I speak of trust, I have to begin with this guy, whose face you see behind me. Get out of here. Jimmy Alamad, yes. When I chose Jimmy, there are eight or nine men in my team. Ang pagsabu ko pinili si Jimmy. Ang dami ng reklamo. Alam niyo naman dito sa Pilipinas, di ba? Every person and his mother, feeling nila, basketball genius sila. Sabi na coach, ba't mo din mo si Alamad? Eh, bakit ka ako? Eh, may dalawa lang tayo magaling ng point guard eh. L.A. Tenorio, MVP sa Jones Cup kung 2012. And then si Jason Castro, nakita niyo kanina, at judge the best point guard in Asia. They're talented, they're very skilled, but they're, uh, may diprensya ng konti, medyo, uh, kulang sa height, vertically challenged. Mga 5 foot 9 sila, 5 foot 10. And pinapantay nilang kwarta sa Asia, 6'1", 6'2". Ginalapan namin ang Qatar. Ang starting point guard ng Qatar, 6 foot 6. And ito ay ating mga pulili, inahabol sila all over the world. But to make matters worse, I chose as my 10th player, my third point guard, Chini Alapag. Siya yung pinaka-cute sa lahat. 5 foot 8 lang siya. Hindi lang siya yung pinakamalit. Siya pa yung pinaka-thunders. Alam niyo ba yung thunders? When I chose Jimmy, he was already 36 years old at the time. So sabi ng mga tao, Coach, ano yung iisip mo? Why did you choose not only the oldest, but the shortest? Kasi dami naman magaling na point guard sa PBA. Well, the reason I chose Jimmy is because I trust him completely. Not only do I trust him, more importantly, his teammates trust him. Trusted him enough to vote him team captain. How are you not going to trust a guy like Jimmy? For a 10 o'clock practice, nandun na siya sa gym namin, alas 8 pa lang. Pinitira niya niya yung 1,000 three-point shots niya, tumatakbo na siya ng laps niya, nagbubuha na siya ng weights niya. At si Jimmy, siya yung pinakamatanda, siya pa yung team captain. In other words, siya yung pinakamagkay na umarte na parang diva. But not Jimmy. O oldest in the team, team captain, first to arrive in practice, last to be. In other words, Jimmy Anapag is a leader, is a teammate whose attitude, whose behavior inspires trust. Dear friends here at Navy Global, thank you. Dear friends here at Navy Global, as you go about the daily dispensation of your functions and responsibilities in this wonderful organization, do your actions, does your behavior inspire trust? What a powerful, powerful skill to have, characteristic to have as a leader. And more importantly, un unquestionably the most important characteristic for any team player. The reason why Jim Elopak is on my team is because I trust him completely. Korean. Now, no amount of trust is going to make you a good team. That's why it's called team work. It's not called team free or team easy. It's called team work. You have to put in the work. That's why the second level of our team model is effort. And when we speak of effort, we have to begin with this guy. Hello, Kita nyo ba yan? Kasi na yan? 
Si Martin Gris, kilala niyo? Sino ang asawa ni Martin Gris? Talika. Sino ang asawa ni Jimmy Alapan? Well, sa'yo pa mag showbiz, alam na alam niyo. Sino ang asawa ni Rani Del Deo Campo? Yan. Yeah. Mrs. Deo Campo. No. Rani Del, Rani Del is married to the young. Her kids are Stephanie, Francesca, and uh, little Rani Del, also known as Jim Rani. Rani Conosher, married to the former Laura Cajon. Her kids, Zia, Duca. Kate Norwood, married to Lady Norwood. They have three boys, Sash. Uh, Orion, and three years ago, I'm not going to say that another baby boy is Izzy. No. You all know Jimmy is married to LJ. You know their three kids? Pangana nila si Ian Maximus. Nakapanalo lang ang Taekwondo Championship uh, about three months no. ago. Their second, very cute baby girl, Kiyona Sky. Uh, Ihanap ko siya. And yung punso nila, two years ago, nang anak na naman si LJ. Isa na mga lalaki, si Kaylen Asher. Inggris, kilala niyo asawa niya, si Danica. Kilala niyo dalawa na kila, si Rick at si Kyla. Yes, this is the depth of my relationship with my people. I know everything there is to know about them. I know the name of their wives, their kids, their parents. I, I know the no. name of their wife. I know the name of their wife, their kids, their parents. Sayidlayla. I know everything there is to know about my people. And because of that knowledge, they do know everything there is to know about each other. Ask any pair in Dilas, they will tell you we are brothers first, even before we are demons. Dear leaders in the audience, how well do you know your people? Every leader, Doc Ed, uh, uh, Ariel, Jurgen, the great leaders in the audience are here. They have thousands of you under them. But every leader, I am sure, in this audience, you have your top ten, your first five, on whom you rely to get most of your work done. How well do you know them as individuals? Not as team members or colleagues or as downlines, but as people. After all, we can only trust those who we know. I know everything there is to know my, about my people. And because of that knowledge, I know that Mark Pingris belongs to this team. Because after I chose Adam Pagas, the death pair, and the other pair I chose was Mark Pingris. Ang dami na naman ang reklamo. Remember, this is 2013, hindi natin alam gano'ng pagkaling si Pinky sa international. Pero sabi ng mga genius coach, pagka kumuha ng Mark Pinky, 6'4 and a half, sa PBA, big man yan. Pero sa Asia, ang mga bantay niya, isang ulo ang pangkat sa kanya. Eh, unlike si Ranita Leo Campo, same size, 6'4 and a half, but Ranita Leo Campo, kompleto si Ricardo, she has great skills. Great three-point shooter, great dribbler, great passer. Complete basketball skills, complete technical skills. In contrast, si Mark Pingris, and ito secret lang natin ito, huwag niyo magkakalata. Si Mark Pingris has no skills. E pamuan talaga tumira. Diba mga boys? I am sure there are more men in this audience who can shoot a free throw better than Mark Pingris. So sa akin ng mga tao, coach, ba't na kumuha ng undersized big man na wala na mag-shooting? And dami naman pwede natin tulin sa TV. Well, the reason I chose Mark Pingris, he may not have the athletic or the technical skills of a Rani Del Deo Camp or other players, but his one skill is his effort. His one talent is hustle. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot overemphasize tonight the value of effort. I'm not asking all of you to suddenly double your production. All we ask is a little bit, a fraction of a percentage point. No matter how hard, how smart, and how intelligently you think you are working today, we can all work a little bit harder. Incremental improvement, a fraction of a percentage point. Sa basketball, kung ang ginagawa mo lang e 5 points a game, hindi namin sinasabi mag 10 points a game ka. Pero paano po ang 5 points a game, naging 6 points a game? Kung ang kaya mo lang dalawang rebound, gawin mo lang 3 rebounds a game. The cumulative effect of all those little increments 
compounded by the 8,000 or 10,000 of you here tonight. Imagine that difference. It doesn't take much technical skill. It doesn't even take a fancy college degree. It doesn't even take much experience. All it takes is good old-fashioned hustle. The reason Martin is, is on our team is because he is our poster boy for hustle. And speaking of hustle and effort, I have now to explain our defensive game plan. Kanina sinabi ko, offensive game plan. Ngayon, defensive game plan. Two components in our defensive game plan. Number one, nakita niyo si number four. Number one component in our defensive game plan, huwag nang pahawakin ni Paul at Owa. Don't let their best scorer shoot. At this point, number four already had 26 points. Ito talaga, ginawa na namin lahat, pinatid na namin, tinadyaka na namin, sinig na na. Ito mga tayo pa eh. So, defensive game plan, huwag nang pahawakin ni Paul at Owa. Second component of a defensive game plan, you see that arc, the three-point line, Korea wants to shoot the three. They will kill you with their three-point shooting. So two components of defensive game plan namin. Number one, wag pasutin yung dinamagaling na player. Pangalawa, wag magbigay ng three-point shot. Let's see if we're able to execute. Yeah, caught the move. Gets into the wing, Kai Sol. Yes, those two points. Two, Korea scores two points, they go back up by one, but I'm a happy coach, I feel my team is executing. Why? What did I say? What's our defensive game plan? Una una, ano? Wag pasutin yung best player nila. Second, ano? No three-point shot. We just gave a two-point shot from another player aside from their best. That's why I'm happy my team is executing. Inside number two when facing competition, understand this. You cannot take away everything the other team is trying to do. You cannot stop all their moves. But the key is to figure out what we can give up that we can live with. Hindi po natin kaya hindi po natin ang gusto gawin ang ating kalapan. Pero kailangan po alam natin anong pwede natin ibigay na hindi natin ikamamatay. If there is one thing that you take away from today, from this entire day of training, what are the one or two things that are most important to you here at A Global? Ano po yung isa o dalawa na paka-importante ng bagay na kailangan pangalagaan ng inyong buhay that you've absolutely got to be the best at? I hope everyone in the audience, I hope na ako kayo alam niyo sa organisasyon ko, ano ang pinaka-importante isa o dalawang bagay. Everything else we can live with. But the one or two things that are most important for any global, we have to guard that in our lives. We have to be the best at that. We were willing to give a two-point shot from another player as I think for his best. That's why I'm happy my team is executing. Better be careful, you don't want to take him a foul in this stage. Norwood, going to the number one. Korea's best defenders, the number six, the number two, the number four. Rani Del Del Campo recognizes the situation. Six, four and a half. He's now at ten and six, nine and a half. If you're more than six, you're not going to be able to take him a foul. He's going to be able to take him a foul. He's going to be able to take him a foul. He's going to be able to take him a foul. He's going to be able to take him a foul. He's going to be able to take him a foul. If you are smaller and you are slower, get the hell out of business. Kung mas maliit na kayo, mas mabagal na kayo, eh pass your paper na tayo. Tumuhi na kayo. But I do not imagine size is the problem of this organization. Look at you, you are definitely not the smallest. But the championship formula, the dominant position, is how can you be the biggest, yet the fastest? That's the championship dominant position. So ask yourself the question, what's getting in the way? May mga ginagawa pa ba tayo na nakakapagal that's getting in the way of our speed? If you are the biggest, yet the fastest, then you are invincible. That is really what's going to take you to the posterity, posterity you are talking about. Rani Del Campo recognizes the situation, takes advantage of his advantage. 
the willingness to roll up your sleeves and put in back-breaking work. Mark Tinkis, after all, he cannot shoot, but he can do this. Ito na naman, rani dito yung ampo. Kanina, dinikitan siya ng bantay niya. Anong ginawa ni Rani Del? Ginamit yung bilis at tumiyak. So ngayon, ayaw na siya lapita ng bantay niya. Sabi ni Rani Del, ayaw mo lumapit, ha? Teka. The free for the free! Another attribute that we associate with the letter A of our team model aside from accountability is adaptability. That's why I'm very glad that the church has talked about it earlier on. Adaptability, agility, ladies and gentlemen. At no point in modern organization history is adaptability and agility as important as it is today. Dati po, padali na ng teknolohiya. Dati po, padamihan ng pera. Dati po, padamihan ng, ng mga tao. Ngayon, para ka umunlad dito sa ating sinasabing digital age, kailangan po adaptable tayo. Kailangan mapag-angkok. Kaya natin umangkok at kailangan maliksi tayo. Agile. Adaptability. Agility. That's what's going to get you forward. That's what's going to to show you and to get you to the, to the goals and then achieve the things you want in life. That's the way towards prosperity. Because, sabi nila natin, change is coming. And then sinabi nila, change is here. Ngayon, ang sinasabi nila, change is changing. And the only way you can thrive and, and keep going with that change is by being very adaptable and being very agile. So dear friends, ask yourselves the question, what is my AQ? What is my agility quotient? Am I like Ranita de Ocampo? Pwede sa loob, pwede sa labas. Or am I too one-dimensional? Iisa lang ang kaya natin. The times of the specialists, that's all becoming passe. We've got to be able to keep growing and add new skills, learn new skills, so that we can adapt, that we can be agile. And that's how we grow in today's day and age. Finally, Korea gets the ball in the hands of their best player, Henshi Valenzi. Dave Norwood, at papanik, sabi niya, yari yan ito, pupurahin na naman ako ni Coach ito. Dapat, huwag nang pawakin ang bola yan, diba? But let's see if Norwood allows his man to shoot. Ooh, he's got 27 big points already. Yang now. Norwood forces his man to pass. And take a look at this guy. Look at his feet. Saan siya tumitira? Three points. Ano sabi ko? Korea wants to shoot the three. They will kill you with their three-point shooting. But Larry Fonacera understands the game plan. He follows instructions. He executes. What does Larry Fonacera do? His foul before the attempt. But the Philippines is... Larry Fonacera. Larry Fonacera gives up a foul. Sabi ni Larry Fonacera, Kunin mo na yung two points mo sa free throw line. Hindi ka titiran ng tres. That, ladies and gentlemen. Tama eh. That, ladies and gentlemen, is not execution. That is flawless execution. And I wish I could give you a magic formula for execution. There is none. There is no sexy sauce or magic pill for execution. But what I find, execution is a function of the little things, the fundamentals. Para kayo execute you have to listen well. If you know how to listen, you can follow instructions. You will understand the game plan. You can execute. In your line of work, kano po ka importante ang abilidad na makikig tayo ng mabuti? How important is the ability to listen in what you do, ladies and gentlemen? No secret to execution. Well, the pressure in the backcourt being applied by Korea. A minute and ten remain in the semi-final lockout match. That foul allows us to get our best player back in. 
Jason Castro, inahi po na tukur namin yung kanyang lagi. General, na dyan po mismo sa bench. Five stitches sa bench, walang anesti anestesia. Eh bakit? Itinanong ng doktor eh, Jason, gusto mo ba nung ano kayo ineksyon yung papamaka, ito yung papamanhid? Tinanong ni Jason, gano'ng katakal baka tumalang yan? Mga 10, 15 minutes, or ito tapos na yan. Diba? Let's start tayo ng video, 3.39. Hindi tayo pumunta sa commercial, wala namang time out. In 2 minutes, 33 seconds, si Jason Castro, pumutok yung lagi, pinahit ng limang stitches, and now he's back on the plane for it. What have I found about great players against good players? The great players, you cannot keep them off the court. The good players will find every excuse. The good players will say, El Rapid, El Lakas na Pagro, Uulang, Sikil Perez, Great players, no excuses. You cannot keep them off the court. Amen. Marami natin ang kapahan, ha? Yes. So, automatically, anong ginawa ng Korea? They see our best player in, automatically, they put their best man, their best defender on Jason Castro. Now, Jason Castro has every right to ask for the ball. So, BD Jason, ang ilang bola. Ako, highest pointer, I'm happy to give you the basketball. Not Jason. Not only is he a great player, more importantly, he's a great team player. He understands the game plan he executes. Jason Castro sees Korea's best defender on him. So what does Jason Castro do? Spreading the floor is... Jason Castro spreads the floor, creates all this room, all that space for another teammate to make a play. Dear leaders, a very underrated facet of teamwork is the ability to give each other space. Dear leaders, you want to develop your people, you want to grow your people. Do you have the selflessness, the teammanship to spread the floor and create room for your people to make it free? And to God, thank you. And to those who are not the leaders, the individual contributors, are you willing to sometimes spread the floor and give your teammates room to make a play? Yes. Very important part of building teams and creating great teamwork. Doesn't matter how many training programs you put your people in, unless you give them space, they will never grow. Unless you give them room, they will never develop. Understanding this, and I hope you take this very seriously, dear leaders and the individual contributors. When you give each other space, they will make the space. In uri niyo po, mga leaders, pag binigyan po natin ang buwang at ang pagkakataon ng ating mga tao, pagkakamali po sila. Not a matter of if but when. Sigurado po yan. Pagkakamali at pagkakamali ang ating mga tao. As leaders, our job is to say, what happened? What will we do to make sure it doesn't repeat? And go again and cut your back. That's what great leaders do. The great teammates will say, okay lang yan. Anong gagawin natin para hindi niyan maulit? Sige, sakot kita. Cut your back. That's what great teammates do. It's the same way in thinking with trust. Dear leaders, when you trust, you open yourselves up to the possibility of the trust getting thrown right back at your face. When you trust, you open yourselves to the possibility of that trust being betrayed. But I think it was Abraham Lincoln who said, I'd rather trust people get disappointed once in a while than not trust anyone and be miserable all my life. Making mistakes, getting that, get that risk of betrayal, that's what's part of our job. Part of being agile and part of being resilient is to understand that things are going to go wrong. Mistakes will happen. That's part of courage. That's part of creativity and innovation. Mistakes will happen. It is your job. It is how you handle it and how you react to it as leaders that really 
separates you from being just a regular person. The great leaders, they know how to turn those mistakes into teaching opportunities. Of course, the honest mistakes. Mistakes on integrity, mistakes on trust, that that's different. But the honest mistakes, that's part of the job. Those are the things that we do all the time as leaders. And so, I like what I'm seeing. Everyone in their right spots. I'm very relaxed, I'm confident, I, I think, I know that my parents are going to do the right thing because I like what I'm seeing. Jason Glasgow in the wing, Dave Norwood in the corner, Radical Del Campo in the opposite wing, Jimmy Alaban in the middle of the floor, with all that room to make a play. Dear leaders, as coaches, our job is not to shoot the ball. Our coaches, our job is to make sure our people are in the perfect position to make the shot. Dear players, as individual contributors, your job is to make the shot. Your coaches will put in the perfect position. Your job is to make that shot. That's why I'm happy everyone is in the right place. Except me, for naman ang ginagawa ni Mark Pinkis Para naman kaya ng issues, magpasahan siya sa bola dyan. Pero wala akong magawa, hindi ako makalikyamo. Kaya trust siya, di ba? Eh gusto siya tumayo dyan, eh di bahala siya sa buhay niya. I have complete trust and faith in my players. Mark English cannot shoot, but at the exact right moment, not too soon, not too late, he does this. Give me a hug, allowing it space for him to penetrate the drive. Alapagas, six seconds to work with. In Banda Alapagas. Mark Pinkis has a screen that allows Jimmy Alapagas to do this. Jimmy launches it. Everyone is standing up, I'm thinking, 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 I'm thinking,
everyone was very, very excited. And she made a mark. She looked at Mola, to Mata Kusha, but he became buzzers and he stops and he looks. And I remember this too, because if it were yesterday, Jimmy is looking at the bench. He's looking straight at his coach. And with that look, Jimmy is saying, that's for you, coach. Thank you for your trust. Dear leaders, dear everybody here in the arena this evening, I think now is the best time, Masteli, to think about that one person to whom you owe your being here to. Isipin po natin yung isang tao na pinaka-responsable kung ba't kayo nandito ngayon. Dito, part of this wonderful organization, this wonderful facility. And perhaps if you can, whisper a word of thanks, but more importantly, ipangako niyo sa tao niyo that you're going to be a person worthy of that trust. How do you do it? By being the best damn person you can be. By being the best damn team player you can be. That's how you repay the trust of that person who brought you to your team. Thank you. Now we're up by five points, Korea goes to time out, so now we need to prepare for the defense. Jimmy and Fox are one of our better defenders. So we need to take a look at him, we need to take a look at him. We need to take a look at him, we need to take a look at him. We see this in professional, professional sports all the time, because he's a famous superstar coach. He's going to shoot two points, but he's going to shoot two points. But not Jimmy. I said he will do whatever it takes for the team to win. Pag nasa loob siya, kailangan natin ng shooter, si Jimmy yung shooter. Pag ninabas natin siya, from shooter, Jimmy is now head cheerleader. Chief Prayer Warrior. Whatever it takes for the team to win, Diba mga leaders and teammates, sometimes kailangan natin mag-assist. Minsan kailangan natin mag-screen. Minsan kailangan natin magpasa. Madalas kailangan tayo ang head cheerleader. At mas madalas pa tayo ang spiritual leader. Whatever it takes for the team to win. That's why Jimmy is on my team. Kapit Pisik, Pong Pilipinas. Korea down by five. Fifty seconds to try and make it up. He was looking for the stop. Mingu, puta madre, he gave Norway. Ready there. Now what does it mean? And the jet is here. And Kilas will waste away the time. Oh, what a big defensive effort on the part of Gabe Norwood. You know, Kilas has been out there. He has been out there. He has now to stop Gabe Mingu. And that had to be Gabe Norwood, the best defender. Now check out our players. Championship point. Walang masabi ko anong gagawin. Hindi kami tumawa na play one, play two, play seven point. Wala kami ganyan play play. Championship point. They get the ball in the hands of our best player, Jason Castro. Because Korea's best defender is here. Guarding LA Tenorio. So anong ginawa ni LA Tenorio? Spread the floor. Create all this room for another teammate to make a play. Ako, my job? Head cheerleader. Because I like what I'm seeing. Everyone in their spots. Kanina si Castro to, ngayon si Tenorio yan. Kanina si Norwood yan, ngayon si Teo Campo yan. Earlier this was Teo Campo, now that's Norwood. Before, the ball was with Jimmy Alapag in the middle of the floor. And now it's with Jason Castro in the middle of the floor with all that room to make a play. That's a team, ladies and gentlemen. Pag balibalik ka rin naman sila ng posisyon, alam nila ang gagawin. That is what drives flawless execution. When each individual member knows his or her role, and more importantly, they know how their role plays in the entire big picture. That's what drives great execution. Pag balibalik ka rin naman sila ng posisyon, alam nila ang gagawin. That's why I'm happy, I like what I'm seeing. Everyone on their spots. Uy, pati pala si Pinkris na siya. Monty, Monty pa mo wala sa sena. Nagtatakong sa bola, eh baka mapasakan pa siya. Pati ganyan nga yung ginawa ni Jason Castro dito. 
Remember, be this guy that shoot, but you can do this. 20 seconds, 26 seconds away. Para ba puro na ang pamumuno ng Korea? Gas the big race! But I'm sure we are still laughing in Amico. In the end, the Gila story was, a, was an actual case study in game changing. An ability to change, we change the game completely. Huge risk, we change the game, but the teamwork and execution, we made it happen. We made a breakthrough happen. A 40 year barrier. Since 1974, this win got us to the World Championship in 2014 for the first time since 1974. In the end, the Gila story is very simple. Here is a group of men, they trust each other. They put in backbreaking effort and they are accountable to deliver the oftentimes unfair expectations put on their shoulders. And finally, we cannot end without talking a little bit about motivation. Tinatanong palagi sa akin ng mga tao, Coach, ano bang sikreto ng Gilas? Bakit boys buhay basketball? Bakit ang hirap nila talunin? Ang hindi nila alam, ang mga player po ng Gilas, wala po yung sweldo. Uulitin ko po, wala pong sweldo para magkaroon sa national team. Our players, they play 10, 11 months out of the year in the PPA. In the off-season, they give up their vacation, their time with their family, their rest, because in the off-season, they spend training with Gilas for no additional compensation, except the opportunity to wear Pilipinas across their chest. That's real motivation. And there's nothing wrong, wala kong mali, there's nothing wrong with compensation, commission, uh, incentive scheme, bonuses, there's nothing wrong with that. But real motivation is a heart issue. It is what is inside our heart. Kaya ang tanong kupo sa inyo lahat ng inyo ba? What is inside your heart? What drives you to make the effort to be here to do what you're doing? Get in touch with that. What is that one thing that drives you? Get in touch with your real motivation that's in your heart, your intrinsic motivation. Get in touch with it, nurture it, patibahin nyo, palaguin nyo, because that's what's going to allow you to really break beyond limits and break beyond barriers. The special people, the high achievers, they have a very real sense of motivation. Kami sa Gilas, our motivation is very simple. We will fight till we cannot fight anymore for our country with all our hearts. Laban, Pilipinas, Puso. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng aming Puso. Nasa sa, yan po ang nasa sa loob ng aming Puso. Dear leaders, dear friends here at Amy Global, ano ang nasa sa loob ng inyong Puso ngayon ngayon? Allow me to end with a final video that traces where all that boost of the top comes from. I think it's best we remember where we came from. I was in Charles Rangers, Kevin City, to Bong Malolos Bulacan. Malapan na kong pasang kayo. I am Marty Belden from New York. I'm going to
Subukan natin! Laban! Aim Global! 